Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about handling button. If you have understood my previous video on how to handle the text box, then this topic is going to be very easy. Here, we are going to learn three methods is displayed, is enabled and click on the button. And the difference between is displayed and is enabled is when you want to verify whether the button is displayed or not you can use the is displayed but when you want to check the property whether that particular button is enabled or disabled then you have to use the is enabled method and the requirement the sample test case for the button we have to use the chrome browser launch the url then we have to verify the submit button is displayed or not then enabled or not if it is enabled then click on submit button this is a url for automating it in this web page we have to do all the requirements for this particular submit button right click inspect for submit button type equal to submit it will be there for submit button alone the name id value class we have many attributes but we are going to choose the name locator the name locator value copy and paste it to a notepad we will start the coding we created a class handling button then completed the setup for chrome web driver and launching the url after that since we are going to use the same object or that particular web element many times i am declaring the object using web element interface web element submit button equal to driver dot find element by dot name giving this value put double code and paste the value semicolon so we declared the object now as per the requirement we have to verify whether the submit button is displayed or not if submit button dot is displayed then submit button is displayed else submit button is not displayed a very simple condition the next step is verifying whether the submit button is enabled if submit button dot is enabled submit button is enabled and I already said in previous video also if we want to perform any actions like uh, entering or clicking or anything it is always good to implement inside the is enabled condition then click on the button submit button dot click output message submit button is clicked else submit button is not enabled so we completed the coding run as java application application launched and it clicked on the button that's why we got this particular mandatory error message and when we see the console submit button is displayed enabled and clicked so our code is working perfectly now there is an additional information apart from dot click method we can also use dot submit method this dot submit method is only available if type equal to submit this is used for form submission when you inspect at that time if you find any attribute type equal to submit then only we can implement submit method I am doing that also just commenting the previous code submit button dot submit either you can use click or you can use submit this submit is used for submitting the forms and this can be used only if the attribute type equal to submit run as java application execution is completed you will see the output displayed enabled and clicked hope you understood how to implement these three methods additional information here is dot submit that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning